This is an assignment about creating audience rapport. Difficult to do. Very challenging when you think that there's no more challenging way of creating audience rapport than to give each member of the audience a half brick to throw at you <laughs> <laughs> if they don't think much of the speech. So I, I think on that ground alone it's commendable that the, uh, that the speaker put herself on the line to get audience rapport or die in the process. Did it work? Did it work this speech? That, that's what I want to do the evaluation of was. Well, all the technical aspects of it were there. I felt the um, speaker, of course, the greeting, the approach to the uh, lectern, etc., were all very technically correct. And from the greeting onwards, you felt as though you were listening to someone who had researched their topic and knew about it and uh, had the confidence to speak about it. The title, The Magic of Pain. Wow, I've never really felt pain was much magic, but it's interesting that um, uh, the speaker chose that title for her theme. So we started off with quite a, with quite a challenge. The French Alps in 1984, foot bitten off by a shark while sitting in a hotel bed. Yes, what's coming next? <laughs> um, so it's interesting uh, in a speech like this to have that, uh, that, that, sort of, that sort of approach. So the theme um, that was developed from that, because that's what I'm always interested in at this level of speaking, What's the theme? How does the line of reasoning work through the speech? Because beginning, middle, and end, there has to be a line of reasoning. You have to come to a conclusion. Um, in the first level of speeches, it's fine, you know, up to up to the A level. But once you get beyond that, then it really is a testing point to know that there's a level that that, that, that there is a line of reasoning through it. So the theme, um, the the paralyzing power of pain. Um, I, I like the magic. That was a piece of show, showmanship that we don't, <laughs> we don't always get. <laughs> I didn't expect, uh, didn't expect Harry Potter um, to make an appearance, but, uh, but that, was, that was quite interesting and everybody, everybody laughed at that. So then the theme, matter can overcome mind, as that sort of speech developed into how the, um, we could explore the, uh, the stones and from that get a sense of texture and understanding of how things can change, how matter can change our, our view of things, our feelings towards whether it's pain or any other kind of uh, sensation. So, audience involvement, well, pick up the stone, weigh the stone, feel its texture and its temperature, it was all there, it was all very involving. Uh, and then discussions with the audience, that um, Susan was the first to say, yes, mine feels heavier. I think that mine did feel heavier, I can't honestly say one way or the other. But it was an interesting, um, it was an interesting point. So, can you bring together the the connection? Can you bring to your yourself together uh, to a place where you have a conversation with your body? So, I thought the line of reasoning worked well up to that point with the stone challenging the issue of matter of the mind and whether or not in dealing with the stone you can feel things in a different way. So that was the, the theme of matter of the mind and I thought that worked. And then the proposal of that conversation is a way to treat pain um, the same way as you explore the stone. So that was very clear and I felt the line of reasoning was very strong. The uh, my conclusions on the speech, technically, very good speech, well presented, confident, uh, quietly done, but with some good gestures um, supporting the, the points that were made. Good sense that the speaker knew she was talking, what she was talking about. Good audience rapport, people participated, everybody looked interested, everybody did as they were instructed. Um, and weighed their stone and, uh, and, and felt that they were involved. And I was looking around the audience to see if that was so, and I, I felt it certainly was. The conclusion of the speech was, so next time you feel pain, don't grab painkillers. Just listen to what your body has to say. Um, fair enough in terms of the theme. I think that's my learning point from the speech, as a matter of fact, which I thought was technically very good indeed. I, I would have liked a slightly, well, I would have liked a stronger ending. I, I felt that at the end, um, there could have been another 15 seconds or so with a with a, a stronger ending tying the elements together. But that's that's just a learning point, something for the speaker to think of. All in all, well done. Um, it fulfilled the assignment of audience rapport without question. Um, I enjoyed it. I think the audience did too. So say to the speaker, onward and upward to the final. <laughs> the final.
final solution, the final death. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the A5 assignment, so well done.